Good night, everybody. It's currently nighttime, and welcome to the first episode of Tea in the Neighborhood. So, basically, this podcast is originally going to be me and my homegirl, but she's not with me right now because it's late at night and we got school tomorrow. So, we're going to talk about tea, we're going to talk about drama, we're going to talk about a lot of topics. If y'all want to know some topics to talk about, then comment down below. But, um, basically that's this new series that we're doing. And yeah, um, we do have a girls night plan this Saturday. So, make sure you stay tuned for that because I will be live streaming that. And, um, subscribe to my channel so you can stay tuned for more Tea in the Neighborhood episodes. Okay? So, this is what we got on the agenda today, okay? We got, we got boys. We got cool talking stuff. Yeah, and then we got singing and dancing. That's what we got, okay? We're gonna start. We're gonna start with the boys, okay? Because let me see, y'all, okay? So basically, it's this this boy that people keep attaching my name to, and I don't even like the boy. Okay, so, like, I feel like I don't like the boy, but they keep saying I like the boy. But it's probably something that I'm not seeing that they seeing. But I just think that I don't like the boy personally. But, you know, everybody got their own opinion. But I wish people stop attaching my name to people that I don't like. <laughs> you feel me? Maybe in the future. Or maybe not. He got a lot of problems. No shade, 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 okay, don't come for me, um, okay, people, okay, now this one, it's really, it really blows me, because I, like, literally just found out, and this was, like, last year that she said something about me, let me take a sip of my drink, Okay, this was like last year. This happened last year, but I didn't find out till like a week ago. Okay, so basically, a little birdie told me that when I was dancing in the Wiz, somebody wanted to make a smart comment and told me to put my arms down. That's what a little birdie told me, y'all. Oh, and also, I'm not name dropping people, so like yeah because it's me and my best friend podcast and me and her got code names for people so that's exactly why i'm not name dropping i'm saying code names and only code names that's all y'all are getting okay okay but don't ask for names because i'm not name dropping not because i'm scared because i just don't want to put people business out there that's why okay let's get straight anyways so basically if y'all don't know if y'all don't know i was in um a musical the witch and i was an ensemble member and i had like seven different seven different roles okay i had to switch outfits and all okay listen it was it was a lot of work backstage it was me and my fake husband, okay, y'all. He's my fake husband. I don't care what none of y'all say. Well, technically, he's like a brother to me. So, yeah. <laughs> he's like a brother to me. But he was my fake husband. But he, now he's like a brother to me. Um, Me and him, we both had like the same amount of transition throughout the, throughout the show. So, with that being said, the girl that was talking stuff about me, she was there. And mind you, it was a pack house Friday. So she was there Friday. And my 
little birdie. <laughs> My little birdie told me what she said about me. Okay, I'm not I, I'm not gonna act like I'm the perfect dancer because every dancer have a flaw, okay? The aisle dance part, I only, I'm not even like, no excuses, none of that. But the thing was, I wasn't there when we learned the aisle dances part. So I was there for the first aisle dance part, but like the, um, the day they had switched it up, I wasn't there because I wasn't feeling good. So my bad. But can you, but can you come up here and show me how it was done, Bookie? Because last time I checked, you, you, you sing, you don't dance, or do you? Or do you? You can be pretty all you want to, but Bookie, pretty ain't gonna get you nowhere. Please don't try to clock my tea because I will clock yours harder. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then, cause, um, I can't upload the video in here because it's like, <laughs> all the way up there and it's like too long. So, um, yeah. But if y'all want to see the aisle dance part, then let me know and comment down below and I will like post it on the short and show y'all. But yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. And this is another thing. If I'm like saying this politely, like the nicest way I can possibly say this. Listen. Today October 10th was my worst day ever. Honest, honestly. I didn't have a good day today. I felt like shit. I looked like shit. So I didn't have a good day today at all. Like, cause if I don't look good, I'm not gonna feel good. And that's just me being a girl. That's just me being a girl, honestly. Because like, if I look like so good, like if I feel like I'm, I look like a 10 out of 10, baby. I'm going to act like a 10 out of 10. But today I felt like a 0 out of 10. And that's that's bad. That's really bad. That I'm not going to lie. Wow, that looks like a lucky relationship. I felt like shit, literally. Yep. And I almost cried today too, y'all. I almost cried today. But, you know, it was okay. I had to suck up the tears and get on with the day. I wanted to go so bad. I couldn't sit through first block. My stomach was killing me mind y'all i had to up last night so with me throwing up last night it was hard for me to even get out of bed this morning and go to school because this side of my jaw was hurting so bad this morning i was like oh my god i don't want to get up but i knew how to get up because one i didn't want to miss the goosebumps musical and let me tell you they ate down they ate down. And them middle, middle schoolers. Yeah, them middle schoolers. And they ate. <laughs> Clock that tea. Okay? Get my drink. Yeah, I ain't feel like making tea, so that's what I'm drinking right now. But normally, when we're sitting, I would make tea. And drank the tea while spilling the tea. Y'all <laughs> got it, y'all got it. Okay, okay. Now, mind you, if a girl feels like shit today and not in the best mood, why do you think it's a good fucking idea to get on her last nerve? Let, let me tell you. It was these kids. They act like, okay, they're high schoolers and they're acting like fucking like kindergarten. Bookie, why are you running around the whole fucking auditorium? Act your age. And I cussed them out. Because I was looking for my teacher and I didn't see her. So what I did, I took matters to my own hands and I cursed them out. And she ain't say nothing. But, um, yeah, y'all, hold on. I'm going to get back to y'all. 
so let me tell y'all about the singing okay so basically i wanted to be a part of a singing group for my school because i wanted to do all the activities that i can possibly do and i know it's a lot of work lsc theater um rehearsals the school activities so i know it's a lot of work then also work like working is like up there you know so with me balancing all of them i will have to schedule my plan like basically but i went to my course teacher like about me joining the club and she was like oh no you can't join mm -mm. and then i'm like okay and then the boy <laughs> he know exactly who he is the boy gave me a sign when i was leaving the class then i asked him for singing lessons and he was like yeah mind you he got the nerve to say i can't match pitch nigga you never heard me sing the only person who heard me sing for real is my homegirl. You can't never say that I can't match pitch if you never heard me fucking sing. Especially in person. Then, mind you, I asked this nigga for singing lessons weeks ago. And we still haven't started. Still haven't started. You're wasting my time and your time, sir. You really is like a professional could teach me right now. You're you're wasting time. I need to learn how to belt. That's like literally the only problem, I'm not gonna lie. I can match pitch. I can match harmony. All I have to learn is how to belt. And then I can also, I'm mastering breath right now. Like, what is she talking about? <laughs> no, like, that really made me sad that day when he said that he thinks that I can't <laughs> match pitch. And he never heard me sing. Mind you, I am a hard-working young lady. Like, if I want to learn something and I'm dedicated to something, I will work for that. You know how long it took me to work for theater? Like, I started off backstage. In my second play, I was the lead role. Like, do you understand how, how hard I literally had to work for that? Like, it's not easy. And then also balancing modeling i have to balance modeling too not to mention have to balance rehearsals have to balance work and i'm not complaining because i'm putting this on my shoulders i'm not stressing and i have to balance up with keeping with my grades and you think i'm stressing no i'm not the only thing that stresses me out is when i come home and I have to deal with family drama. That's the only thing. But other than that, I'm G's. I'm good. You don't have to worry about me. Okay? Okay. <laughs> now, dancing. I kind of explained dancing in the first part when I told y'all the bitch can't dance, but she can talk shit about me. Excuse my language. I'm so sorry. But, um that's basically it y'all and this is like the end of this episode the next episode y'all might get is with me and my home girl we're still working on this planning you guys but um yeah uh, make sure you like comment and subscribe and thank you for watching if you watch to the end of this video and for everybody I was talking shit about, if you have something to say, please say it to my face. Thank you. Mwah.